Japanese oysters are in season now in the cold winter. How do you like to eat them? Today I'm making the oyster rice that is called kaki gohan. The oyster itself is tastes good, of course, but the best part is the rice that absorbs the rich umami from the oysters that is so good and it's the seasonal delicacy. Let's get started. Let's start preparing the ingredients. Wash rice until the water runs clear, changing the water several times. This is the oyster selling at the grocery store in Japan. I don't know how it's sold in your area, so please let me know. Carefully open the pillow pack and drain the water from the oysters. Do this in the sink to prevent water from the sprinkling all over the kitchen counter. Add a teaspoonful of salt and gently rub to clean the oysters. Salt will help release the remaining sand or shells. Then, rinse under the cold running water, changing water several times, and then drain. Set aside until used. Next, shred ginger. You can use ginger in a tube if you don't have it. The ingredients are ready, so let's get start cooking. In a pot, Add sake, mirin, and soy sauce and bring it to a boil. Add ginger and oyster and cook a medium-high heat until the oyster is plump up and just cook through. Pass through a sieve and separate the oysters and the seasonings. Add water to seasonings to make it to 200 milliliters. That is about 1 rice cup and 1 tablespoon. Transfer rice to a pot, and I'm using a small donabe, the earthenware pot, but you can use any heavy bottom pot instead, or even a rice cooker works. Add comb kelp to enhance the oceanic flavor, and put the lid on and start cooking on medium-low heat. When it comes to a boil, remove the lid and give it a stir. Scrape the rice on the bottom to prevent burning and cook evenly. Put the lid on again and reduce the heat to low and continue cooking for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, place the oysters on top and then let them steam for 10 minutes to cook with the remaining heat. After 10 minutes, it looks like this. And there you have it! Your oyster rice is done. Mix gently, turning upside down, and serve immediately with tsukemono. The oysters have a plump and soft texture because they are not overcooked, and they have rich umami with oceanic flavor that you can enjoy at this time of the year. The rice absorbs all the goodness from the oysters and has a bouncy texture to it. It tastes so good. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my new videos. And follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And join my happy eating group to share your food with me. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. And for more information, visit my website, princessbamboo.com. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!